Arriving to Cuba's capital, Havana, is a unique experience that provides a burst of nostalgia as soon as you set foot outside of the airports. You may even be lucky enough for your unlicensed taxi driver to get pulled over and cautioned on the way to the city, but if that doesn't happen, there's still plenty to see along the way. Once you're in the city, you'll notice you have just entered into the largest classic car show in the world. The US trade embargo on Cuba meant the locals had to keep these 70 year old cars running by any means necessary. Luckily the Cubans are passionate about their cars and they will do whatever they can to keep them running. Over the decades they have become mechanical wizards breathing new life into these old machines, fixing them up with scrap metal, taking parts of other cars and even boats to keep them going over the years. Murals of the 1959 revolutionaries decorate the streets and the Capitol building dominates the very centre of Havana. Built back in 1929 on the doorstep of the old town, people work and live just a few feet from where all of the decisions are made. It's a slower pace of life in Havana, much more palatable than the chaos of other cities around the world. Poor telecommunications and no established internet service means people are more often just ambling around the streets of Havana, chatting to their neighbours. First impressions of Cuba are as though you have just stepped backwards in time. Despite the rather dilapidated streets, La Habana is actually really, really safe. Yes, do not be put off by the decay of the buildings or of the infrastructure. Havana's locals are some of the friendliest people on the planet. There will also be a few artists out on the streets plying their trade, but they are not bold or forceful. They keep to themselves. They may invite you into one of their workshops and if you speak some Spanish and you can meet the right one, you can haggle them down to a good price for some black market cigars. The streets of Havana are always buzzing with life. The kids are out after school having water fights and everyone is just watching and smiling. There is no TV, video game or smartphone culture. So of course, people are out playing in the streets. They are outside using their imaginations, making up games, spending their days together far, far away from any screens. The sense of community and brotherhood is so tangible amongst the youth and still there when they've grown up. Overall, I don't think I've been in the company of such a happy people. With the island lying in the Caribbean, the tropical climate allows for warm weather all year round and is home to fresh avocados, bananas, pineapples and mangoes. You'll find street vendors by their stalls, sipping and sharing Caribbean rum until the evening, when they go to see a whole host of live music famous to Cuba. Authenticity in travel is everything. It's really what makes or breaks a travel experience. Oftentimes you can feel a place is trying too hard to impress its authenticity on you. There's always the original this and genuine that, with just too many souvenir shops on every corner, selling fridge magnets, postcards, mugs, you name it. Havana is not that. It's not even trying to impress you. It's too busy living its own life. It's a world all by itself, lost in time. 
Havana is one of my favorite places to have visited for its cars, for its charisma, and for its colors. And as we said before, authenticity is everything in travel. And what could be more authentic than strolling around a city from corner to corner, from streets to streets, and not even being able to tell what decade you're in. Quizás, 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 quizás.